Welcome back to the Real Estate Peacock channel where I teach you everything you need to know about wholesaling real estate. Man, do I have a doozy for y'all today. We have a full gut property, guys, that I made $15,000 on. We're gonna go through the specs of the property, the numbers break down. I'm gonna show you how fast I was able to sell this deal. I'm gonna show you the actual email that I sent out to my buyers list, and then we're gonna wrap it up with the actual video walkthrough of the property. But first, like always, guys, you gotta subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any video moving forward. So let's get into it. We have a three bed, one bath, thousand square foot, all brick ranch in Gastonia, North Carolina. How did I find this deal? Well, I found it like I find all of my deals, guys. I don't do cold calling, I don't do text blasts, no driving for dollars. I don't do anything that 99% of the marketplace does. We are all in sales and marketing, right? We're all competing for the same deals. In order to stand out, you have to do something different, right? And my something different is I do direct mail, but I do it in a very unique way. I send a two-page letter of intent with an actual offer price on the second page. This is the marketing strategy I've done for eight plus years now, over 300 deals. This one marketing strategy has brought me in every single one of my deals. So the offer price on this letter of intent to this lead was $115,000. How do we come up with that offer price? Well, we actually download that list, we sort that list into sub areas, and we price the sub areas in bulk, one at a time. Not each property one at a time, the sub area one at a time. So when I price this sub area, I price them all as an average rehab. An average rehab in this location is $25 a square foot. So if this was truly an average rehab, which we know it's not, it's a full gut, I would have needed to be around $118,000 for this to be a deal. That's how close we get, guys, with this concept. $115,000 is what that lead received on that letter of intent. If this was an average, we would have needed to be around 118. That's $3,000 difference of where we needed to be and what that lead received. That's very accurate. Now, let's talk a little bit about the condition of the home itself. This is a full gut, guys, but it's a full gut for a different reason. Typically, when we talk about a full gut, all five of the big five need to be repaired or replaced. The big five are the roof, the HVAC, the plumbing, the electrical, and the foundation. But in this scenario, there are only three of the big five that needed to be repaired or replaced. They were the roof, the HVAC, and the foundation. But the severity, guys, of the foundation is what took this up to a full gut. Usually when there's foundation issues, it's not throughout the entire house, right? There's specific areas where that foundation needs either peers or support. But this house, guys, had it in the entire house. You're talking a major foundation issue in this home, which is why it took it up to that $55 a square foot full gut. The HVAC itself was only eight years old, so that was still in good standing. But the actual individual that was living here, she had multiple dogs, guys. I'm talking five, six dogs. They were living in the crawl space. So they got into the duck work and they tore that up. And you'll see that in the picture when I show you guys the picture. Now, let's get into the numbers. I already told you that the original price on that letter of intent was 115,000. Guess where we landed? We landed at $75,000. I was able to renegotiate this price down $40,000. Why? Because of the foundation, right? The condition of the home. At the end of the day, I can only offer what the numbers allows me to offer. So the ARV was 205,000. The estimated repair cost was 55,000. I got it under contract for 75,000 and I was able to sell it for 90,000, right? That's $15,000 assignment. Also, the estimated rent was $1,600 a month. Why is that important? because of the 1% rule, right? The buyer would buy it from me from 90,000, right? The estimated repair cost was $55,000. So that's $145,000 all in for that buyer. 1% of that would be 1450 a month. This is 1600 a month, so we're above that, right? So it passes the 1% rule. Now let's go down to the computer where I can show you guys how fast I sold this deal. I'll show you the actual email that I sent out to sell the deal, and we'll obviously go through the video walkthrough. All right guys, so here's the actual email that I sent out to my cash buyers list. I always like to start just obviously with the address, and then we go into specs of the property. We got 31,000 square foot all brick ranch. 
Then we go into the condition. Man, this house needs some work, right? We talk to HVAC. The HVAC is the only only thing that's good about this property. And then the, we already said that the duct work is, is tore up. So that's not even 100%. Uh, we tell them just about the condition. Then we roll into numbers. ARV, 205. Estimated repair cost, 55. Right? And we tell them we got a Dropbox link down here with all the pictures and the video walkthrough right then we tell them the average rent why because that one percent rule is very important we need to give them that and then we have our asking price you'll notice guys my asking right here was eighty-eight thousand, and i got ninety thousand. and i'll show you why here on the next slide we tell them then when the closing date is is and then we always say that that buyer covers all the closing costs it's as simple as that right that's the simple email that i sent to my cash buyers it's uh quick it's precise it's everything they need to analyze that deal i want you guys to notice the time that i sent this out 8 47 a.m right let's go to the next slide this is the buyer at 9 a.m 13 minutes later he commits not only does he commit he commits 2000 over asking at 90 right this is how a smooth system goes right when you have a reputation of sending out good deals with good numbers he didn't even go through that entire dropbox file the video itself was three and a half minutes just for the video right so he committed and he gave me two thousand more than my asking right here so i wanted to show you guys that because that's very important when you put out everything they need to analyze the deal They'll make their decision because they have all they need, right? So let's go ahead and look at the actual property. Here's the property. We got a, a all brick ranch. It doesn't look terrible from the exterior, right? We have that dog house. It's, it's multiple dogs around the house. Um, that was one of the biggest issues, even with showing the property. But I don't notice anything. The roof itself was, uh, you'll see that on the inside of why it needs to be replaced. Here's that duck work where the actual dogs were. They tore that all the way up. The HVAC, only eight years old, still looks good, right? We can we can still do something with that. Even looking from the side angle, I'm like, okay, I don't see anything crazy, right? We don't see any spider cracking veins in the brick or anything. But in the inside is what tells us all that stuff. So at this point, I'm like, oh, this property looks pretty good. But wait till we go through the actual video walkthrough itself. All right, so here's the entry point. And I always tell, this is my boots on the ground. You see how he just... Uh, kind of skim to the ground always tell him when he feels foundation issues or slanting or anything just point the camera to the ground like right here right let us know where that foundation issues are where those issues are so he's skimming throughout and as you can see i mean the house itself is just not well kept look at the roof you see the water spots in the roof uh that's a clear indication you see that pretty much throughout the entire house there's multiple, multiple mold or water spots in the actual ceiling itself. So we talk about the flooring. I mean, you can just see the flooring there. And my, my boots on the ground told me, like, even when he walked in here, it was all uneven. There wasn't just spots. Like, most of this flooring itself was, was uneven. You can see in the bathroom here, it's, it's nothing real major in the bathroom other, again, than the actual flooring. But that's the other issue is in the corner, another spot where it indicates there's some roof issues or leakage or something that we know that roof needs to be replaced. As we walk into the bedroom, I mean, the, the uh, hardwoods are exposed, another spot in the roof. Um, that's just continuous throughout the house. We already know that. But this, again, in the actual bedrooms, every single one of them had unevenness in the flooring. There's the drywall that's damaged. Uh, this one was just definitely a full gut throughout. Roof, look at that. This one probably had uh, some of the, the worst damage. This is where the dogs lived. Obviously, there's some poop on the ground right there. But in every corner in that room, the actual uh, roof had the, the spots, the mold water spots uh, in the ceiling. Guys, that was a full gut. But still, the numbers are all that matters. I was able to renegotiate that price from $115 down to $75,000 because we had the leverage after we walked the property to know, hey, this is a full gut, this is the best we can do. We'll present that. If they accept, great. If not, we're on to the next deal. Thank you guys for another great video. I'll see you guys in the next one.